Now, something I'm very concerned about that was announced this week is the government's draft misinformation laws. Essentially, if this passes, the law would give the body which governs the nation's media, that's ACMA, the power to fine social media companies if basically they don't come down hard enough on what the government says is misinformation on these platforms. Well, I'm not the only one with concerns. Joining me now is Evelyn Ray. She's a podcaster and writer for The Cauldron Pool. Evelyn, welcome. It's great to have you on, Bernardi. Thank you. Um, I haven't got much time, but isn't it the case that so much of what we know to be true now was once dismissed as misinformation? So what does that actually mean for these, these laws? Well, I think that's the lurking question, Corey. Who gets to define what is harmful and who gets to define what the truth is? Because there is no such thing in 2023 as objective truth. And that there is where the scary part lies because people like yourself, like me, who were vindicated um, have not really had repentance towards us or sorry we've got it wrong and everybody just has to get on and go on with things as per normal so what does that mean for the future and a lot of people have rightly likened this legislation to george orwell's ministry of truth you and i both know that fact checkers are little more than narrative gatekeepers and um i think that that's a very scary trajectory for us and i think it's a really dark place for australians and those who are in the left are quite happy to go ahead with this because the power is with them but they need to be mindful that it wasn't so long ago that we had uh tony abbott in power and so perhaps some of the speech that they have they they have every day uh will one day work against them so everyone needs to be wary of this legislation because once it's been uh, passed through parliament it's there um, and it can be used by whoever is wielding the power at that particular time well, that's a very good point. But I think one of the greatest things that you've made, uh, you point out there is the fact that people who have claimed that the government's information is wrong and what we've been put, has been put forward, whether it be in regard to uh, wars, conflict, politics, uh, the, the COVID narrative, global warming, you can keep going for it. They're proved wrong again and again and again. And if government is the arbiter of saying that's misinformation, anyone that disagrees with us, this is a truly chilling infringement on freedom of speech, isn't it? Absolutely. At, at the moment, all this is going to do is create blasphemy laws for the secular left. Um, and we unfortunately are going to be at the uh, raw end of that deal. And I think it's something that it's, it's also not just going to prosecute us and potentially stop us from having a debate through silencing us through these laws. Uh, what it's going to do is create intimidation as well, because I know a lot of Australians who would say, you know what, it's just not worth talking about this because I don't want to have to be dragged through the courts and the government body because of a comment that I made on the Internet between friends. So it's not only going to prosecute us for wrong think or speech that they hate, it's also going to create this culture which breeds uh, a lack of communication, a lack of discussion, and it is a lack of objectivity and debate that is the language of the oppressor. Absolutely right. Now, I've only got 30 seconds left, but the National Anti-Corruption Commission, it's begun you know, yesterday. Conservatives are worried about uh, show trials. I happen to think it's a pretty good thing now because I've changed my tune on it. In 10 seconds or left, do you reckon it's necessary? And what issues do you think should be the first referrals across there? To be honest, I think all the Australian people want at the moment is freedom and prosperity. And I think that's how you restore trust to the Australian people, particularly after the last few years. If this can achieve that, then I'm all for it. I'm a bit hesitant to believe whether it will, but time will tell. All right, beautifully put and unfair of me to put you on the spot with such a short time. Evelyn Ray, thanks so much for your time tonight.